quick update on Bitcoin proxies and Solana proxies within this video. It's going to be quick. I'll try to do it as efficiently as possible. Let's start with MicroStrategy. This is the one hour chart to get more data of what the price action is doing right now. So MicroStrategy has been consolidating between $340 and $360. It is the safest proxy out there. It's the company that has more access to cash. They just recently bought 25,000 Bitcoin and they're developing all kinds of financial tools and assets to sell in the future and to attract different, different type of investors for their different needs, all in the goal of raising more cash and being able to deploy it and buy more Bitcoin in the future. So MicroStrategy is following Bitcoin to a certain degree. Sometimes even it goes up when Bitcoin corrects. So, so far has been the safest, is the safest, the biggest, and the one that has the most momentum. I do not expect to have any issues with MicroStrategy. I own the stock, will continue to have the stock and potentially add to my position because I believe they have all the tools, the right strategy, are extremely intelligent in the way they deploy cash, they're reputable in the market, and the strategy, it's more and more covered, more and more understood by the market therefore it's easier to extract value and the share price is going to the upside so that's my take on microstrategy if you have to invest in proxies bitcoin proxies this is the stock to have nothing else the safest the most easiest to trade but also the one that has been responding to the bitcoin movement in a very positive way now, from a huge asset to a very small one in the Canadian market, Neptune Digital Assets, ticker NDA.V, that is in the TSX Venture. Smaller asset, trading range between $0.90 cents and $1.10. The MA50 on the one-hour chart is flat. We are trading sideways, waiting for some kind of catalyst. And the catalyst that I'm waiting for is raising cash from the company. How big will it be? Will they be able to raise the cash? And how will they deploy it to buy more crypto assets? Those are the main questions for these small crypto proxies. They are more volatile. They are a lot more riskier than MicroStrategy in my opinion, but they also have very explosive potential returns associated with them because they are so small. Those that will be able to raise cash quickly and efficiently multiple times will explode in price. Those who had trouble raising cash will either stay stagnant or correct down eventually if people get impatient and get out of the asset. So if the asset goes above 110, it would be a nice entry, not financial advice. If it goes below 90 and come back to 90 and it blocks and corrects down, I would get out of the asset. That's my take on these smaller ones. It will apply to other small Canadian proxies. You have to be careful. They are more volatile. They are riskier than MicroStrategy, in my opinion. Next in line, Soul Strategies. This stock is quite interesting because they want to do the strategy of MicroStrategy, but with Solana. Solana more volatile than Bitcoin. This stock is one of the more volatile assets proxy related that I have seen. The stock is trading between 110 and 140 right now, trading sideways, the same thing, consolidating, waiting for a catalyst. Again, this one will be the same thing. Either they sell the Bitcoin to buy, either they sell their Bitcoin to buy more Solana and stake it, but that's running out of options. After that, they're going to be, they're going to need to raise cash. Will they be able to raise cash? How big they will be? How will they, they will deploy it? And will they be able to do that multiple times? These are the catalyst for these stocks. If we trade below one dollar, I would get out of the asset. If it goes clearly above one forty, 
then we may resume the uptrend for Sol strategy. And finally, we'll cover BTCS, which is one of the proxies in the NASDAQ market. So it's in the American market. This company jumped in price yesterday almost 100% and then corrected down to end the day plus 53%. So for whatever reason, this stock exploded yesterday. There were no news, nothing that triggered this buying. Why it happened, I still don't know, but it's a crypto related company, low market cap, very volatile as you can see, but also the potential is there for future pumps. So the stock was 188 and it finished at 288 yesterday. The difference between BTCS and HODL and Neptune Digital Assets, the Canadian proxies, is that this stock is in the NASDAQ. This stock could have access to cash a lot easier than the Canadian proxies. So that's an advantage. But again, will they be able to raise cash? Will they clearly indicate how they're going to deploy that cash? Will they clearly buy more Bitcoin, Solana, Ethereum? I don't know exactly which assets they will buy. Will they fully implement the micro strategy strategy? I still don't know. I know that it's a company heavily invested in nodes in Ethereum, but I'm still learning about the company. I don't know much yet. We haven't had a press release in a while besides I think quarterly reports, but nothing related to the company or some new aspect of the company recently. So I'll follow the, the company, share future updates, but this is one that moved yesterday. Today in pre-market is down 10%. Yesterday corrected 50% from the top. It's normal if a stock doubles and then people take profits. But now it seems that pre-market it's down 10%, so down 30 cents. Let's see how it will trade and especially what will be the next news for this asset. Again, the ticker for this stock is BTCS. Continue doing your research and let's keep our information related to proxies fresh and react accordingly.